idea of a little site called Pay Per Post. Uh -oh. Does anybody remember when that launched? <laughs> okay. So, I thought that I had come up with something brilliant. And I was like <coughs> so excited. And I remember, I remember getting ready to, to hit the button to launch this thing, right? And I hit the button, and at the same time, this story hits on, on Newsweek. Um, I'm sorry, no, it wasn't, it wasn't Newsweek. It was, uh, I can't even remember. Uh, it was, well, we'll just say it was Newsweek. All right. Um, and then it hit on TechCrunch, and it was like, this is the worst thing that has ever happened to blogging. <laughs> this guy is a devil. And then it was like, die, paper post, die. Why the hell are you corrupting the blogosphere? Right? And I remember going home that night and just being like, holy shit, what have I done? This is crazy. Like, all these people, they're just saying the most horrible things about this company that I created, but they're also saying horrible things about me. And these people don't even know me. I'm nice. I'm a nice guy. I'm like, what if I could just have a beer with those people? They would know. They would know, but nobody wanted to hear it, right? So for years, years, I was I was painted as, as this villain, right? Because I was doing something that was different, and I was doing something that people weren't comfortable with, and I was doing something that if I was a traditional PR person or a traditional you know social media person, <coughs> this idea of people getting paid was just like, oh, you, you can't do that. You're gonna you're gonna destroy everything. Everything is so pure right now. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you really think things are pure right now? You really think things aren't influenced? Are, are people aren't being influenced? You really think people aren't getting free trips? You think people aren't getting free products? You are high. <laughs> you are absolutely high. I want whatever you're smoking. Right? So, at, at one point, I remember, this is about a month into it, I was like, I think I'm just going to shut this thing down. Like, it is just, it's killing me. It is killing me on the inside. Um, to, to have all these people say things about me uh, and to not really be able to do anything about it. <laughs> and so, I remember going to sleep. All right, I remember sitting in bed and saying, all right, I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning, and I'm going to make a decision on whether to do this or not. <coughs> and I woke up the next morning, and my house was on a lake, and, and I saw the, the sun coming up over the horizon. And uh, I was like, you know what? Screw these people. Screw these people. They're afraid of change. They're afraid of what I'm doing because they think that, that it's going to ruin everything that they've tried to build. Right? And it's not about that. It was never about that. I want to I help them. I want to create something new. I want to create a new way of doing things. But I'm not here to tear down what you're doing. Right? We can, we can live in concert. And so I started looking at how, how can I change things? How can I make people see what I see? And the first part of that was actually stepping back from that screw you mentality and saying, wait, maybe these people are right. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe there is a better way of doing this. So like that, that, that first gut reaction is like, fuck you guys, like, I'm right. I know that I'm doing this right. And then the second part is like, wait, maybe I'm not doing it right. And so what happened over the next months and years was a lot of listening and having some real real tough conversations with, with people that were my biggest attractors. And um, that's where the real opportunity was, was having those conversations and understanding where people were coming from and listening to what they had to say. And that is what ultimately shaped this company to what it is today. Um, you know, and, and the issues were about, you know, disclosure and transparency and choice. And a lot of those things, you know, 
in my mind, they were already there, but they weren't there in a way that made people feel comfortable. They weren't there in a way that, that we were really providing leadership um, and, and making sure that we weren't the only ones doing that. We were also helping the rest of the industry do that. And so, fast forward to today, right? This company is, has raised um, over $10 million in capital. Um, we've done over a million dollar or a million uh, sponsored posts, whether that be through Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, or uh, blogs, whatever it may be. And we've created an entire industry. Have who's heard of Adley? Who's heard of uh, you know sponsored reviews? Who's heard of uh, you know Buzz Agent is now now doing this type of stuff as well. And the sponsored social media sponsorship category is now a two hundred million dollar uh, a year industry, right? Uh, and that includes all that includes not just cash, but all the little freebies that you guys get, um, all the, the points that people are racking up, all the forms of compensation. It's a huge, huge market, and I still see a lot more opportunity for it. So. At the end of the day, what, I'm, what I want to get across to all of you guys is if you have a crazy idea, if people are telling you it's crazy, it's probably the right idea. 